Good morning, Cruise Addicts, and welcome to Marina di Carrara. It is day three and vlog number three. Here is what's coming up. This is what you call food with a view. I am in extra virgin. Cheers! morning so it is an absolutely beautiful day in Italy and I just want to share with you the view that is to my left because the way that the clouds are hugging these mountains just looks stunning to me take a look at that isn't that just beautiful so, uh, yet again, I have no plans, so I'm going to jump off the ship and explore, see what this town has to offer, and then get back on and do a little bit more exploring of the ship. I had a bit of a late night last night and went to the club, but I have uh, had a little bit of a lie-in compared to yesterday, so I am full of beans and ready to do lots of stuff today. So just before I jump off the ship, I thought I'd come and have a quick bite to eat in the galley. So this is the buffet style venue, but it has lots of different venues where you sit down and order from them instead of you going to grab it yourself. Hey! venues. Hey! Everybody wants to get on the video um, just in case there's any confusion where we are. So I'm gonna grab something and then jump off shortly. Cheeky little bit of fruit there as well just in case. Right let's see what we can find then. This is what you call food with a view. views don't get much better than that, do they? Just waiting for somebody to come along and take my order and then have a little bit of food and then jump off. Well, that's brunch done in the way. I had a, a nice cheese and ham omelette with a couple of sausages on the side. Didn't manage to capture any of it because I was far too deep in conversation with a lovely couple of ladies that I met in there. So just dashing back to the room to grab the bag and then I'm going to jump off the ship. And apparently I have heard there is a free shuttle service which takes us into the main town. So we'll go and see what Marina di Carrara has to offer. Hey. <laughs> it would be a nice funny video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we almost fell down the stairs there. As the staff member rightly said, that could have been quite a funny video. Um, but I don't really want to be on crutches for the rest of this cruise. Anyway, as we were. There, consider yourself informed. Right, let's walk back to the room and you can see just how close I am to the lift. So, lift's there. My room here. Yeah, that close. So, I've just hopped off of the shuttle bus service, which is a free service, which is good. Um, very short distance to the drop-off point, so I think there might be a bit of walking into the town centre. So some tourists have just walked past me, coming back from town, or cruise ship guests, whoever they may be, and have said that everything is closed. So um, this could be interesting. I'm thinking that it's more a case of the boutique and things like that will be closed for siesta. I'd like to think that there are some touristy shops that are open for business, but I guess we'll see as we get closer. Um, I'm walking and walking and don't seem to be getting any closer to the centre of town, so I'm hoping it's not too much further, but then I'm not really in any rush. 
So let me just swing the camera around just so you can see the view of the mountains. Uh, they don't seem to be getting any closer, but they don't look any less beautiful than they did when I showed you them earlier. So take a look. Aren't they just stunning? And yet still more walking. Will we ever reach what is the town centre? I'm starting to wonder. I think that's pomegranates growing there. A little bit of a random nature stop for you there. Right, so onwards. I can see some buildings. So I'm hoping that that is a town centre type area. What's that fruit growing on that tree? Anybody got any ideas? If it is fruit, drop me a comment below. Let me know. What is that fruit? Okay, so I've walked down to the main road that I could see and I seem to have discovered a garden centre. But not a lot else. Um, it's quite nice to have a magical mystery tour, but a um, little bit more mystery. It's a little bit more mysterious than I was planning for today. So it's time to head back the way I came and see what I can find with the help of Google Maps. My little adventures do make me chuckle sometimes. So after the garden center slash hardware store, I pulled up Google Maps to find out where I am in relation to the town centre, only to find out there was absolutely no phone signal. So I knew how to get back to the meeting point for the shuttle bus, um, but that's about it. However, disaster averted, the phone signal just took a little while to kick in after uh, turning airplane mode off after being on the ship. So I do now have reception. And it turns out that if I go back to where the shuttle point, uh, shuttle bus meeting point is, it literally is just a case of walking in the opposite direction to what I've just walked. That said, I'm a little bit confused why the people at the security checkpoint where the shuttle bus meeting point is sent me in this direction. Maybe they thought I looked like the kind of person that was up for an adventure. I'm beginning to wonder if I should be allowed out alone. I have uh, walked back down the road that I walked up and walked and walked and walked and looked for the turning. And I couldn't see it anywhere. And now I think I've walked past the point where I was. I was being very careful and keeping my eye out for the turning. But somehow I've completely missed it. So. It's back to Google Maps. <laughs> okay, mini disaster averted. That is the security point that I need to head to. So I've come to the conclusion that there is very little to do here unless you are heading further afield. So a bit like from Livorno, you can do Florence and Pisa excursions from here. Um, I don't think there's a great deal of difference in distance from here to Florence and Pisa than there would be from Livorno working up. But yeah, there's really, really nothing in the immediate vicinity of the port. I've seen more beautiful views, admittedly, apart from those gorgeous mountains. But it's better than being stuck on the ship, that's for sure. Now this is a game changer. There may not be any shops to buy souvenirs, but hey, if you want to be weighed, they got you covered. In front of us now, we have uh, the ocean. So let me just quickly take you over there. And as I swing the camera around, you will see there is no mistaking the valiant lady over to the left there. There's a little beach here. I should just have a, a little closer look. So, as 
after wandering around for quite some time, it is time to admit defeat. I have come across one or two shops after stopping by the tourist information area right by the security checkpoint to get back on the ship and they've guided me to the area of town to find them and I've gone in and no joy. So not this time. What the bets I'll go through now and I'll find one in the shop as I'm about to head to the terminal, but I don't think so because it's pretty much in through the uh, station here, get on the shuttle bus and then straight to the industrial port. So I very much doubt it, but we will see, you never know. Here we are then, back on the ship and fun fact for you, those mountains are not snow capped. They are some of the purest marble in the world used for the likes of the Pantheon in Rome. Up on deck 17, it's a beautiful view, with the exception of those cranes, and it would be rude not to go and take a look at the gorgeous Virgin sign. Beautiful. So I'm now back in the room after that crazy port stop. Never knew one like it. Um, so the plan for tonight is to go to Extra Virgin, which is the Italian restaurant on board. And then after that, I have Cabaret with the Hostess. So that should be fun. Um, there is a little update. So the quite popular show Never Sleep Alone has been cancelled for tonight. And it doesn't appear in the schedules any other part during this cruise so I'm wondering if it may not make a reappearance. So this evening I am in Extra Virgin, the authentic Italian restaurant on board and that can be found on deck six mid, although I would argue it's more aft than mid. But here we are looking forward to trying what is available in this restaurant. So let's take a look at the menu quickly. The lighting is definitely subtle here in Extra Virgin. For me, it's looking a little bit grainy, so I hope that doesn't come across when it's uploaded. From what I have heard when the waiter is taking me through the menu, it sounds like it's going to be delicious, so let's hope that it is. I have already demolished two lots of bread, and this was olive oil and balsamic vinegar. This is what's remaining. Yeah, there's virtually nothing left of it. So I'm waiting on the starter to come out, which is going to be the chicken liver pate. And here it is, along with some meats and some cheeses. That should keep me out of trouble for a little while. So I've had the, the starter, then I've had the anti-misty, which is the, the second course. And I've not quite finished that yet. And then the pork cheek has arrived. So um, my only fear is that by the time I finished eating the second course, this is gonna go cold. So I better jump straight in and uh, start eating it. Let me just show you what the pork cheek looks like and then I'm gonna dive straight back in. Looks good, right? Okay, now I've waded my way through three courses. I can share with you what I thought. So firstly, the chicken liver mousse was just something else out of this world. That was incredible. I really love that. And then we have the, the ham and the cheese plate. Um, yeah, all really good. Some really nice um, pear and mustard dipping sauce. And uh, there was also some honey, which had wild flower flavor running through it. Um, there were some spice nuts. Um, and then the braised cheek of pork. Um, as I feared, it wasn't piping hot because it all all the food fired out in quick succession. I mean, don't get me wrong, it wasn't cold. It just wasn't quite as hot as it may have could have been, but it's still very, very nice. So it's quite delicious actually. So uh, I'm just waiting to order desserts and uh, we'll see what comes out. So the desserts have arrived. I have got chocolate olive oil cake and ricotta bomboloni. There's the chocolate cake. 
And there is the bomboloni. Okay, both desserts were really good. The bomboloni was really nice with the ricotta. It's kind of like a sour jam and uh, mascarpone cream. And then the olive oil cake, really nice with the poached pear and also the ice cream on the side. Yeah, really good. Um, I, I really recommend you come to this restaurant. The only thing I would change is that it might be worth just making it very clear to them that you want your courses to come out separately really. if that's what you want. All right, how are we feeling? Are we feeling good? We can get this started? So sorry, we can get this started? Woo! Yeah, this is our first time doing Oh wow, take a look at this. It is thick pea soup fog. That is absolutely crazy out there. And that is where we're gonna end today's episode. I'm gonna get an early night because I'm filming the ship door tomorrow. So it's just after 11 p.m. It's not crazy early, but I'm gonna be sensible so that I can get everything fitted in that I want to. Tomorrow we are revisiting a Giacchio. I was there in August, so I will be doing the ship tour and then I will jump off to have a wander around. Thank you so much for watching and please do consider subscribing to help me grow and also bring you more content. If you have any questions or you want to see something or just any comment in general, then leave that below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please do give me the thumbs up. Until the next time, thank you so much for watching. Good night.